All right, it's day five, and we are still painting. We have all the primer on, but now we're doing the real paint. Uh, this morning we did the gray paint, and then went and we did two coats of the gray, and then uh, we had some lunch, came back, and now the gray is dry, and I think it looks pretty good. We got the paint from Lowe's. It's Valspar. It's uh, their signature line, and the color of the gray is Mountain Smoke. So it's kind of a gray, but with a little bit of brown in there to match our flooring. And uh, so I think it'll look really nice. And the gray is only going on the cabinets or the wood that goes from the floor to waist height. So this is gray. Um, and uh, the nightstand's gray. And then, like, I don't know, or vanity, whatever that's called, that has all of the drawers and stuff in it in the bedroom, that's gray. Oh, and the bathroom. That's gray. So, and then we also—it's kind of going to be our accent as well. So that's gray. That's gray. That's gray. So we have a few of those. But I think it's going to look nice. But I'm kind of scared because it took us all morning just to do two coats of the gray. There's only a little bit of it, <laughs> and so now we have to do all of the white. And so I don't know how many coats that'll take. It might take even more than two. We'll see. It might only take one. I don't know. We'll keep you posted. Uh, we also have to paint all of the cabinet doors and the drawers, but I think that'll be pretty easy because they're all just going to be laying out on a table that we can just do real quick. So We have finally completed the first coat of white all over in the bedroom, and it looks pretty good. So we're really excited about that. It is a lot of work in here because of all the nooks and crannies, but it's worth it. It's looking awesome. So... Moving on to the rest of the RV. The bedroom definitely took the most amount of time. The rest of the RV will go a lot faster. Yeah, if you <clears throat> if would take like a rag and get it soaking wet and then kind of wring it out so it's damp and then just be candid then, then wrap it it'll be good for tomorrow awesome. this you want to rinse out though yeah all right we've got the first coat done now we have to do the second coat tomorrow i'm tired Yay. it's a lot of work painting an rv is a lot of work it's a lot of work. All right, so we are wrapping up all of the painting. Uh, I think it's really starting to look good. I'm really excited to see what it's gonna look like after it has dried. Uh, right now we're just kind of touching some things up here and there, but I'm just really excited to see what it's gonna look like. Uh, side note, I would recommend not using painter's tape, uh, at least when painting the inside of an RV. It was a lot of effort to tape everything off and then uh, we couldn't get it done in just, you know, one day. So the first coat dried overnight, and then when we pulled the paint off, the tape off, it was just, it pulled the, the paint with it, and we had to go around and re-edge everything. Um, it was just a pain. And then, like, we, we taped the vinyl roof here, uh, but the, the tape got caught, like, underneath the vinyl and the cabinets, and it was just, it was just a big pain. So... I think I would recommend, instead of taping, I would use, oh, here we go, I would invest in a nice brush, like an angled brush that is really good for edging. Um, I would invest in one of these, and then just skip the tape and take your time, and just, you know, edge it as you go. Just carry a little cloth, very lightweight, thin cloth that, you know, keep it damp. And anytime you make a little mistake, just wipe off the paint. I mean, that that was that was way easier um, once we pulled all the tape off than than dealing with the tape in the first place. We had my dad helping out today, which was a huge help. Uh, I basically I took the bath the bedroom. Lindsay took the main area, and he took my dad took the bathroom, and we were able to knock out the second coat way faster than than the primer coat or the first coat of paint took. So that was very helpful. So another tip, rope someone in to help you. 
family. Family or friends. And preferably somebody who knows what they're doing because we had really no idea. The paint has had a couple days to dry and it's looking really nice. We put two coats on the wall and two coats on the gray and then uh, the primer underneath that. But then we had to just touch up in a couple places. There were a few spots that we missed kind of in some corners and underneath the cabinets. But uh, it is looking it is looking great. It's a lot of white. Uh, but I think once we get the cabinet doors in here and um, the bikes and the couches back to normal, I think it'll it'll look nice. Had a couple. So cheesy. It is so <laughs> cheesy. That is how that's how we do it. Looks good in here though. You're gonna get to see all the magic happen. All the magic happen. That'll go in the bloopers, Dave. You know it. <laughs>